I've been studying bacteria for my whole professional life. So I'm a microbiologist by training who has moved mostly toward the synthetic biology. We can use genetic parts that exist in bacteria. We re-engineer them to control genes in mouse or human cells for therapeutic purposes. Bacteria react to light in a way mammalian cells don't. This is the trait Gamelsky's lab is using to advance medical treatment for human diseases, such as diabetes. We have designed some of the best light control modules. The idea of engineering cells to produce insulin or other hormones has been around for a while. Where we come in is in the ability to control production. We've engineered genetic circuits that make these hormones in a very precise manner. If we shine light, the hormone is produced. If we turn the light off, the production is off. What we're hoping to achieve is having these pouches containing engineered cells that serve as mini pharmaceutical factories that every patient carries in them. The beauty of light as a means of controlling cellular behavior is that it can be done with high precision in regard to location and in regard to timing. You can really not do that with drugs. It's potentially a very broad type technology that can be applied to therapies of all kinds. I'm reasonably positive that in our lifetimes we'll see these light control cells in real medical applications.